So before we get into this video, I want to talk to you guys about sabotaging, all right? If you ever approach or been approaching for a period of time, you know what that's like to go through periods of sabotaging. And maybe sometimes you still do it even though you're getting better at it. Now, I made this list specifically because there's nothing worse to experience or see than you yourself or another guy sabotaging an interaction. Hindsight is always 2020, but it's always great to have these things to your advantage while you're in an interaction so that you don't, in the middle of an interaction, screw it up. It's great to have these in your back pocket so that when you're in these interactions again, you're like, okay, cool, I can feel myself wanting to self-sabotage this thing or wanting to pull away. This is what Anthony said to do in the video and I'm gonna do it, okay? so. Watch the essentials that I put in this video and then practice them. Take them out and do them every day and let us know how they're working for you. All right, guys? Number one essential for approaching is grounding. Why is grounding so important? Well, your grounding is your ability to create a container, to create the bubble, right? To create that space where that interaction can be fully felt in your words. When you transmit them, they can reach the girl. Now, the opposite of being grounded is being like a sailboat, right? And the wind just takes the sail and pushes the boat wherever it wants to go. When you're not grounded, you're at the mercy of your emotions. When you're grounded, you can see your emotions but not be affected by them. Actually, you can really just own your emotions. Let's say, for instance, you walk into a beautiful girl and this girl is just really making you nervous because you never approached a girl this beautiful before. And your body wants to freak out and do all this weird stuff, you know, you're shaking, you're darting your eyes, you're not penetrating, you're not feeling your own body, you're pretty much going into your head. That can very much be repelling for her. And say, for instance, you do the opposite of that and you learn how to ground, feel your legs, feel your feet, you'll have that nervous energy still, one, because this is probably the hottest grade we've ever approached, which is kudos to you if you're doing that. But being grounded, you could also see your nervousness and not be taken by it like the wind in a sailboat. Right? So you might say something like, or you might feel very nervous in your body, but you also feel very much here, connected with her, straight through the eyes, penetrating, and be like, yes, I'm fucking nervous right now. And you're so beautiful. And you're still there. You're not wavering. You're not trying to escape the interaction. And that can be very, very, very attractive to a woman. Um, and I know that to be a fact. So go back and watch the videos that we have on grounding. I put a video out probably about two or three weeks ago about grounding and what it actually feels like and what it actually means to be grounded so that if you don't know, you have a reference video to watch, okay? And also I wanna add to that, why grounding is so attractive to a woman. Because if you're walking up to do an approach and you're nervous and she's nervous and there's chaotic energy, your ability to show her that you can manage that chaotic energy makes her feel safe in her body. She may not understand it on a logical level, but she knows that in her body, it feels good. Something about you feels good, and she associates good feelings with you. And that's ultimately what wins women over, is that you make them feel good. Not like you're trying to impress her and entertain her and make her feel good, but your energy and who you're being, she likes it. Her body likes it. Her body wants to gravitate towards you, wants to be closer to you, which I'll get more to in the next intro, but Get the grounding under control, it's key, because it can make it for a lot of mistakes that guys make in interactions. That's why I say it's very key. Number two, touching. Touching. Most guys in interactions don't touch. They're so scared to touch. Touching is essential when you're doing an approach. Because if you're too scared to reach out and touch and you're keeping this distance between you and them, it's never really gonna feel like it's an intimate approach. It's always gonna feel a little bit more platonic or she's like, why is this guy here? It's, not, it's gonna be a level of uncertainty in why you're standing there talking to her. Um, so I always tell guys, when you're in an interaction with a girl, we, when you even walk up to a girl and you introduce yourself, shake her hand, shake her hand. I know some guys are like, shake her girl's hand. That's not, that's not, you know, that's not sexy. That's not gonna turn a girl on. Touch will, doesn't matter how you do it, just get over there and touch. When I meet a girl, I'm always like, hey, I'm sorry, I saw you, I thought you were, I thought you were super beautiful, I just wanna say hi. And I'll reach out and I'll say, what's your name? And I'll grab her hand. And a lot of times when you're grabbing her hand, what you'll notice is, she is she's not immediately wanting to pull her hand away. Like she'll leave her hand sitting in your hand, especially the more grounded you are, the more she'll keep her hand there. And that gives you a chance to really just kind of feel her, right? And when you're transmitting those feelings into her body again with your hand, because you guys are connected through the feeling, she has even more reason to lean in and enjoy you and like you. So this also compounds when you're on a date with a girl or an instant date, 
touching is essential. Girls sometimes get in their heads too, and they can think a situation is very platonic if you're not touching or not getting close. But I'll save that for another video. So again, guys, get your fear of touching out, Just clear it out, release on it, do what you gotta do. Get over there and start touching, okay? Third essential thing you must know and do in your approaches to having a successful approach. Close the gap. Close the gap. You gotta close the gap. So many guys are standing way too far away from the girl for it to be anything intimate. Like they're really creating this platonic distance because they are too scared to get close to the girl. Their bodies are scared to get close to the girl. They think they're invading her space. You've got to get close just like you've got to touch. You've got to get close enough so she can feel you, right? And if you're keeping that distance, it's kind of weird. Now, there's ways to do this. Sometimes when you walk up and you do an approach right away, maybe the girl's a little bit standoffish and there's a little bit of distance, that's fine. But be planning to get a little bit closer as she relaxes. And you'll notice it with girls, when you're talking to them and they feel a little tense and standoffish, the more relaxed you make them feel by grounding, they start to relax. And once they relax, they start leaning in more physically, like the distance between you and them starts to decrease. So this will naturally happen when you're grounding some point, but also you wanna make a practice of it to do it consciously when you're in interactions. Notice where you're at. Are you standing far away? You know, are you, are you standing far away? Like, I don't wanna enter her space. I'm being apologetic. I'm being a nice guy. And if you are, make the correction. Take a step or two in, get a little closer. Like, right? look her right in the eye and talk to her. Women love this. It's just like water. They, they, they drink it, they crave it. So you gotta give them that. It's a part of masculinity. It's not being scared to be close to women, okay? Now, I hope these essentials help you guys out and let us know if they did or if they didn't, okay? Post down in the comments below if you're having success with this stuff, if you're noticing girls leaning in more, they want to be around you more, they're starting to show a little bit more interest towards you because you're doing these things. If not, and you're having struggles with, with doing this stuff, also let us know as well so that we can make content that'll help you get you out of that. Now, again, we've been through the ringer, we know what this is like, we've been approaching for a very long time and we know what works and what doesn't work. So these are the things that work and I wanna see you guys out there prosper and have success with this stuff, all right? So again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so that you can constantly get the content that comes up that's gonna make you a better approacher. Also guys, remember, journal. And aside from that, I just wanna say, remember, only the confident really live. Peace.